Namaste, my beautiful beings of light. I am back with another collective reading. And this time is I'm doing the Mystic Martian. I'm doing a star seed uh, reading. Basically, I want to see which star seed energy wants to come out. What's the message? Which star seed? What's the message, star seed. What the hell is like? Oh. We have Andromedans. Andromedans. Oh my god, so beautiful. The yin, the yang, I see a very powerful, powerful third eye connection. I see um, the swirls that I have in my, the swirls. Let me read the book from the book. Number four. So four is a stable foundation. I see the tree of life and I see also the tree rooted coming up. Whatever you plant positive will 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 expand. The Andromedons come from the Andromedon constellation. 2.5 million light years away near the great ooh, a year. Near the great square of Pegasus. Andromeda inhabits a massive area in space and are possibly the oldest race that visit our Milky Way galaxy. They are an abstract and dimensionally fluid species. Andromeda do not need to use spacecraft. They're very powerful. They usually use the nearby galactic gateways. Antares as a dimensional travel portal, Antares, through Andromedans can holographically adapt any appearance so they're able to just shape into whatever. It's like shape-shifting, but yeah, including elements. Via shape shifting, they typically appear like humans with varying shades of blue skin. Other ETs revered Andromedan and say they are possibly the highest known ascended masters of these regions in the universe. Oh my God! Yes. Andromedan's mythologies are often perceived as obscured yet brilliant they are very elusive and selective about who they choose to communicate and dramas are extremely concerned with humanity's future oh that's my star seed and with the ecological devastations happening on earth they would prefer all benevolent and Malevolent ETs were absent for a while so humanity can master their own momentous energetic shifts of ascension without pervasive per persuasion or deceptions. They are 12 dimensional and I, oh my God, this is so, so me. I'm sorry, I'm just so, it's just right here. I feel it in, in my heart space. I feel so connected to these energies. It's like my family, my star seed family. They are 12 dimensional ascended masters and have fully awakened the quantum capacities for far exceeded humanity still dormant in built DNA coded of, of abilities. Andromeda doesn't understand the limited logic and awareness. 
earth humans are conditioned into okay let me just read that again a drama dance understand the limited logic and awareness earth humans are conditioned into however humanity must incorporate and develop left right hemisphere awareness and open heart presence and observe an observation if they desire to evolve for without this, the tiny bandwidth of human spiral and light awareness presently in average human is not enough for ascension. Andromedans have their own high council regarding intergalactic and interstellar govern governance of multitudes of star systems and galaxies. The car meaning is self-agency, anatomy, left is the logic, left brain is the logic, right brain is creativity, hemisphere, alignment, ascended consciousness, free will, untapped potential, zero point energy, paradox perceptions, manifestation, wow, crown chakra activation, free thinkers, telepathy, swift, multi-sensory perception. They are go-getter energies, unique individuals, quirky, esoteric, not es esoteric, fluid gender, vibrant, creative, and excitement. So this is what it means, this card. They are very, very anatomy, free will, manifestation. And if they, it came up the reverse side, meaning rigid, linear, stuck, avoidance, exaggeration, sensationalism, boxed in, generics, and procrastinations. But very positive, very loving, very, very balanced, very, very balanced. They are shapeshifters. They shape into anything, even liquid. That is amazing. Woo, child. I want to do another card, then I'm going to do a, another star seed. What's the next? <gasps> Oh, the Anunnaki's are here. Oh, my God. Controlling drama, conflict of interest. But you see that there's two. There's polarity. There's the blue and there's the red. Okay? The blue pill, the red pill. So let me see the Anunnaki's. Oh, my God. I see, see the pyramid. Oh my God, their watch, their watch was not a watch. Their watch is something else. Their watch could be a watch where time travel, this, I'm only going by the energy that I'm feeling. And it's number five, change. Often known as the shining one, the Elohim, oh, the fallen angels and the watchers. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you. The ancient Babylonian, Sumerian civilizations known modern Iraq, Syria, was highly advanced technology culturally and logistically as well as legally and scientifically sophisticated. They developed 1620 count systems, geometry, geometry and written language systems. They invented organized lunar, solar, stellar, cosmic navigating and time keeping systems. The original Anunnaki on earth were giants, Nephilim in size, standing beyond 12 feet tall. Wow. The last de lodge and inbreeding has bred out the pure bloodlines on earth. The original Anunnaki's varied in skin coloring, 
from very dark to fair and were said to be able to crossbreed with alpha draconians and reptilian beings. Ancient Sumerian city and ancient Sumerian clay tables reveal documentations dating back to the 24th century BC. Oh my God, it's just oh, I'm over, I'm overwhelmed. Creation and genetic stories that were polytheistic, polytheistic. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Ancient Sumerian clay tables reveal documentation dating back to the 24th century BC. Creation and genetic stories that were polytheistic with many complex off-world Anunnaki narratives. The Anunnaki were inhabited in and the uh, what is going on? They don't want me to say this. The Anunnaki were inhabited of the planet Nibiru, a distant reddish planet that enters our solar system 3,600 years. It is debuted, it is debated in Nibiru's last I don't even know how to say these words. Electric orbit entrance to solar system may have caused the great deluge deluge either way anunnaki's invaded earth and infiltrated and destroyed atlantis later led by high priestess scientist enki they then started a mining colony with another planet called the igigi to assist in mining of monatomic gold for its precious interdimensional properties. The Ingis rebelled and part departed due to the Anunnaki's control, led by half-brother and Enel and against Ingis wishes. The Anunnaki's then used sophisticated gen genetic engineering on the earth to create a somewhat upgraded hybrid human workforce smart enough to follow instructions through not smart enough though not smart enough to rebel Enki was the support mentor and advisor for the humans the remaining Anunnaki ancestors are waiting for the next night Biru orbit to leave Earth. The card meaning is conflict of interest, drama, duality, controlling, wanting to always be right, sibling rivalries, black, white, thinking, separation, disagreement, misog misogyny, team support, enemies, and polarized. In reverse, it means reunite cooperation, unity, compromise, and agreement, and I don't know how to say this word, guys. I'm not going to say it. And fair. So, wow. Wow, 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 wow. The Anunnaki's. They're here. Wow. I'm not gonna talk about this because everybody has their own belief system, their own belief, whatever you wanna believe, whatever. I know there's good and there's bad in everything. The world is changing. And our starseed families is coming and they're coming to help humanity. For whatever was hidden will always come to the light. Wow. Whew. We're here. We're ready. We're not going to back down. 
so no one or anything they're here just know they're here they're watching over us they're taking care of our planet yes there's good and bad and everything but we have to put things into balance things will be brought into balance things will be brought into balance i believe that 100 percent things will come into balance And we got here the air, air element, philosophy and discrimination. And empath, empathy, 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 empathy. And that's number 25, which is number seven, which is a heavenly number, which is God's number seven, seven days. God created the earth, the seven chakras, the seven, the seven sisters, star system, seven seven heaven that's what i get let's see number seven no 25 sorry 25 let me hurry up because my time is running on my camera sacred geometry so this is a sacred geometry this is the triangle i see but mind body and soul air is one of the four classic elements and critical energetic force that sustains physical third dimensional life on our planet wow it's just i'm just getting some crown chakra activation right now Air rules Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Oh my God. Oh. Archangel Raphael rules the air element. Thought is an air deity. Oh my God. Thought is an air. I didn't know that. Air sanguine is a masculine yang element. Sanguine. Sang 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 Sanguine, S-A-N-G-U-I-N-E, is a masculine yang element. Air, simple, 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 why am I old? Getting back to, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do this one more time. Air symbolically rules intelligence, communication, and thoughts. Thank you. <laughs> Card meaning, mind, philosophy, discrimination, critical thinking, canning, logic, reason, discernment, vexeridity, communications, language, focus, attitude, visionary, brilliance, perceptions, fitness, finesse, the cosmos, imaginations, observation, cloud, sky, wind, third eye chakra, spring equinox. Wow. There's a lot of elements. There's a lot of. Wow. There's a lot of energy here. Oh my God. Activation too. Woo. I don't know, but I feel the activation. I feel the energy. I feel the powers of these cards, and I feel the, the, the. They're they're here. They're here to help us. The reverse side of the card is monkey mind, <laughs> over overthinking, living only from the neck up. Taking everything literally, gossiping, flaking, mentally dull, fickle, scattered bra scatterbrained, and head in the clouds. Hold on one second. Okay, so with all that, I wanted to get a message from the ancestors since they are here. They're coming through. What's the message? Lover, love. Love is the message. 
Love is the message from the ancestors. Love can be felt and expressed in a variety of ways and the type of love can be anything from romantic and sexual love for someone, eros, to, fam to love of family and friends, to the universal and unconditional love that extends our outward to all beings. This other type ancestral ancestor has deep well of emotions and sensuality and experiences life in rich and concentration fashion. Their feelings are very strong and can go from one extreme to another, from happy to ecstatic to great pain and grief. The lover is deeply empath empathic, feeling someone else's emotions easily <clears throat> and readily. Intimacy is the channel through which the lover expresses their care and our duration. It is energetic, auric closeness with whomever or whatever is present in the field of focus, whether animate or innate, human or animal, plant or mineral. The field of focus can stretch as far as the heart energy can extend. The electromagnetic field of the heart has been scientifically measured as 5,000 times stronger as the EMF of the brain. So rather than the intellectual love, this is experiment, ex Exper experimental love emanating from the heart of hearts. This is true intimacy. This is true love. Through all the unhealed wounds you suffered during your time on earth, you constructed blockages of feeling and expressing love letting yourself receive love and loving yourself these hurt these burnt stung those burnt stung you felt you wary of being intimate with others and you put up your guards easily not just to lovers but to friends and family as well it is time now to take some risk with expressing your love through words and deed, trusting that you have the resilience to recover even if you experience disappointment. Just as important is loving yourself, putting aside criticism and taking care of yourself, starting with your body. Breathe deeply and you will naturally feed a greater awareness of your body and the sensation in your body. These sensations, whether you call them good or bad, are signs that your body is processing whatever it needs to process. You're simply experiencing the moment of life as it expresses it and through your physical being. So love, the lover is the message for the star seeds. Trust that the process by tuning into your body daily through song, movement, music, self massage, sex, emotional clearing, or the caring touch of another person Love your body, express your sensuality in as many ways as possible. Allow physical experience to be an important part of your daily life. Allow others, allow yourself to be intimate with natural, with natural world, with the natural world by being immersed in it regularly. 
from taking care of gardens by biking along trails or by camping in the wilderness. Take risk in sharing your love with others every day. Shall your falter and fall back? Shall you, sh shall you falter and fall back into familiar patterns of obstruction? Call on this ancestor to help you out. Oh, the lovers. Ooh, I'm hot. That was the lovers' ancestors coming through. And then the bottom is the dancer. Free yourself, dance, let it go. Unblock those energies that are just holding you back from freeing yourself. Connect with your heart, connect with nature. Namaste.